Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Ayubelia. Thank you for joining. For more news and latest updates, follow us on all our social media platforms. Young Nigerians in 12 states are to benefit from a multi-collaborative scheme between the federal government and the UNICEF. Lagos and Kano states are to serve as the takeoff points of the scheme that will be inaugurated July 26th by the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo and the UN Agency. Known as Generation Unlimited, the innovative program is targeted at young Nigerians aged 10 to 24. The Rice Farmers Association of Nigeria, Oyo State Chapter, has assured Nigerians of their commitment to boost rice production to reduce high cost of the commodity. Mr. Samuel Akande, Chairman, Rice Farmers Association, gave the assurance in an interview with the News Agency of Nigeria in Ibadan. Akande said the farmer's target for years is to get quality rice to the table regularly and cheaper than it is. On security matters, tactical teams of Imo Police Command engaged a gang of armed bandits who specialized in robbing point-of-sale operators in the state in a gun duel, killing one while others escaped with bullet wounds. It was gathered that the suspects were robbing some operators around Ebu in Oweri North local government area on Wednesday around 4 p.m. when luck ran against them. Speaking to newsmen in Oweri on Thursday, Imo Commissioner of Police Abu Tuyaro explained that once alerted of the robbery, the tactical teams immediately raced to the sea. Still on security matters, detectives from the Lagos State Police Command raided some black spots in the metropolis, particularly Oshodi, and arrested 103 criminal suspects. The detectives recovered dangerous weapons and illicit substance from the suspects. Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer Moiwa Dejobi said the operatives also recovered drugs and weeds suspected to be Indian hemp and dangerous weapons. Officials say four people are killed when a boat carrying people celebrating the Muslim holiday of Eid al Adha capsized in northwestern Pakistan on Thursday. A rescue operation is underway to find three people who are still missing after the boat sank in a reservoir in Bajau region, local administration official Mohammed Fia said. He said two children were among the dead. And in sports news, Anthony Joshua will defend his World Boxing Association, International Boxing Federation and World Boxing Organization heavyweight titles against Olik Sandu Osik at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London on September 25th. Joshua was set to fight compatriot Tyson Fury in a unification boat in Saudi Arabia in August, but that fight was submerged when a United States arbitrator ruled World Boxing Council champion Fury must defend his title against Deontay Wilder. And that wraps up Trust News Summary. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. I am Ayubelia. Thank you for watching.